Great, so uh, welcome everybody. Nick Smith here from the SAP Analytics team and today I'm here with Jurgen and from IBCS and we're talking about standards, best practices with visualizations, charts and graphs. And uh, Jurgen's here at SAP Vancouver spending time with the product team and thought it'd be great to ask him some questions. Uh, first and foremost, what is IBCS for those of us out there that don't know anything about standards and visualizations and best practices? So tell us a little bit about what you, the work that you're doing. Okay, so thank you, Nick, for being here. I had a great time the last two days here in Vancouver. Well, um, IBCS is an international standard for the visualization of business data. So actually, it's international business communication standards. And the term communication indicates that it's not only about the design of, of charts and tables, but it's about conceptual things as well. Good. And over the last couple of days, you've been, been spending time with the product team. We're at a, a lab site here at SAP Vancouver. Uh, a lot of uh, the members of the development team are here working on new innovations for products like Lumera, a visualization tool. And What's, what, tell, tell me some more about some of the insights that you learned from us at SAP and what types of things were you discussing with the product team here in Vancouver the last couple days? Well, this was a really interesting thing talking to the Lumira team yeah. because, um, as I mentioned, we probably are a little more in the field of financial controlling, analytics, so EPM, that stuff. And uh, the Lumira team is more in the field of exploration, big data, discovery, uh, yeah. discovery and, and so on. It was really interesting to talk to those guys and find out what they think about this unification and standardization process. And the interesting thing is that in the end they got really enthusiastic about it because they, they see that they probably can heavily improve the, the the, the, the defaults, the, the, the way they suggest explorate, uh, the, 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 how to exploit data and how to visualize it when they've got some metadata and know with such a kind of, let's say, semantic layer um, yeah. how to visualize data with specific metadata. Yeah. So uh, we had a, a strong discussion on how to get the metadata mm -hmm. and um, probably I, I think they had really some good ideas how to, to, to bring the metadata in and then improve the visualization. Great, right. sounds like some, some interesting discussions and ultimately in, impacting the recommended visualizations and uh, the way that customers ultimately consume data and explore information. So great stuff and looking forward to seeing some of that happen within the product. Last question for you here on, in terms of the work that you've been doing and, and customers that you've been working with, tell us a little bit more about some of the value that you've seen from organizations as they start to implement some of these standards and best practices. What can customers really get out of this um, when they use visualization techniques to better improve their business? Yeah. So it's first the understanding of reports will really be much faster. Right. And the second thing is that building reports is much easier because you have the templates, you have the standards. Yeah. No, now you know where to start. And yeah, no one has to think about whether shall I do this yellow or blue or how, how should, should should the design be like because it's standardized. Just use it as it is and probably the software already supports those standards. So it's much easier, much faster and that's the, in the end the benefit. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for spending the time to talk to us today. And thanks for visiting SAP Vancouver and looking forward to doing more work with you guys in the future. Thanks yeah, so much. Thank you, thank you very much.